E Robert! As near guys has finally landed with another update. What? I think this is like their third one in less than a month they're updating already. Um so patch is 0.2.10117.0. Yeah, I need to catch up there. Catch that a little, a little salute to the Master Chief, a little 117. Um, real quickly, guys, we're gonna go over some of the patch notes, so stay tuned. Okay, I've been able to play patch 117 here for a couple hours now. Um, not everyone has, but I think by the time I upload this, everyone should have it. Steam and PC, or Steam and Windows 10, uh, received it instantly, while Xbox One users had to wait 48 hours. I don't, I don't know the technicality behind Microsoft. Uh, I got it within two hours of the time they announced it on Twitter. Um, so real quickly, I'm going to go over the patch notes, uh, as I do in the past with all the updates with Astroneer. Um, I have some highlighted that we're going to go over. I mean, nothing, nothing major, but... Uh, my time playing it has been the optimization. With every update, it seems to be more optimized, if, if I can say it that way. But basically, after you get so far in Astroneer on the Xbox, I've noticed on PC, PC seems really smooth, but on the Xbox, after you get so far into it, and they've even commented on it on their Steam um, system air, um, the developers, that bas basically... Uh, what Xbox One users are experiencing are, after you get so far, it's starting to, like, it's chugging away. Like, it's trying to keep up, and you notice that it's starting, your frame rates are going down. Even sometimes it's freezing. Um, but yeah, that's been the one major thing. After every single update here, I think this is the third one now, uh, it's getting better. So I'm able to play longer, it's more optimized, I'm not lagging in some way. Or a vehicle, I mean, especially the, the vehicles. At one point, the vehicles, I couldn't even, I wasn't even get, uh, going to get any type of uh, recording of it because it was just so bad. It was lagging so bad. So I've noticed that every update here, we're getting a better optimization, but I, I'm just ranting. Anyway, patch notes are going to be on the screen here. I'll leave a link in the description below in case you want to go directly to their website and, you know, review it and discuss it in the forums. So real quick, I have some highlighted here. Um, some exploits have been fixed. Um, some optimizations have been, you know, uh, corrected from the physics. Um, so here, one real quick is that the trade module. Apparently, for you uh, prisoner scums out there, you were, you were able to grab, in a text, you're able to grab resources off the trade module as you launch it. So basically, you have this infinite amount of resources that you're always getting in return for, you know, you're basically a pirate, is what they <laughs> have on the patch notes. So they fix that. You can't do that anymore. You cheater. Um... Base building. Base building was huge. Uh, after everyone seen that, you know, one guy on the forums, you know, he's making a flat base. And I'm like, how do you do that? It took time. And I guess they fixed the algorithm now, is what they said with the terrain, for um, for new base platforms. So for all you flat base makers out there, um, uh, I think it's easier. And I've, I've messed with it a little bit. And, you know, I'll put some video here on the screen as well. Um, and it, it does seem to uh, be more... Um, less of a hardship to create. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh yes, you know, there was an issue, I mean, nothing game breaking, but you would have, when you load in, when you loaded into a game, you would have your items that were on your backpack before you exited, that when you come back, they're like hovering behind your backpack. It was nothing, it was no big deal, but they fixed that. Nothing, nothing big. Um, maybe this one is, um, apparently like uh, nephew experiences. I never seen it. But I was hosting, he would join, and he wasn't able to, like, see the correct lighting or the state of the oxygen on the tethers. So that was always an issue um, that he had no idea, you know, he couldn't see, so he's going into a cave blind. So that's one nice fix for him, or for, you know, players in general. Um, and let's just finish shit off with this condenser here. So the condenser is going to be that that module that gives you um, hydro, or hydro, hydro energy, whatever. It condenses it, obviously. Um, before, it required 8 energy, and now it requires, I believe, 16. I have no issue with it. I mean, if, I mean, I, I don't know what the big issue is with with energy, because you shouldn't have an issue with getting energy. Um, so that's one, I mean, change it to one of the modules. Of course, you know, there's there's more in here if you want to go over it. Um, those are just some highlighted ones. Um, basically, the optimization has... I, it, it, I see it in every single update. I mean, personally, that it's just, it's getting better and better and better. Um, it's not chugging away. Like I've said, it's not dragging. 
Um, one big one that I've seen, I'll, I'll, I'll finish with this one, is the the vehicle. Oh gosh, my, my vehicles were flying away. That's how I, I haven't been doing any videos with it because it's just like I get all this work done and then my, my vehicle just takes off. So I think they have fixed it. I've even tested it out because, you know, I'll be driving, I'll press X and my vehicle responds to me as if I'm like some structure and it just, it will fly up into the air and then it'll come down and sometimes like it'll bug out to where it'll sh actually shoot up into the air. Uh, in one of my previous videos I have with Nephew actually doing that tour, it, it just took off on him instantly. So I've been testing it out. I have some video here of it, you know, of me driving and jumping out. And now it basically, it will go through me and then it will stop. I mean, I, it's not much of an issue now. Um, overall, I am so glad that they keep updating it. It's not even, what did they release early, early or mid, mid December? And we're already getting three updates. So I'm looking forward to, you know, maybe some more, uh, I think they mentioned one of their teams, some more like creative, creative base building. I'm, I'm ready for that. I'm ready to get some like deeper content with, uh, with Astronia. So again, I'm going to keep doing these. I enjoy doing these videos. I enjoy, you know, seeing the changes, almost like, you know, some Minecraft nostalgia back in the day when it first came out. Um, I really enjoy this. So don't forget to wreck that subscribe button, guys. You know, hit that like button if you can. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'm going to keep doing this with Astronia. I really like it. So um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Hey, Robert! Thanks again, guys, for tuning in and watching today. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to wreck that subscribe button. It's real easy. My emblem right there in the middle of the screen, hit it, bam, you're subscribed. We have two videos on the screen also right now. We have my most recent upload and a random playlist that I have. Social media is also in the description. We have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, and even Tumblr. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.